everybody welcome back to my channel for today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys my absolute favorite beauty items from the drugstore and I'm actually really excited about this video because I love drugstore makeup I just want to do like a tiny bit of ranting maybe so recently I've been seeing a little bit of some hating on drugstore makeup and it kind of irritates me just a little bit in my opinion there are some awesome drugstore beauty products like half of my makeup right now is from the drugstore and I really don't think it looks too awful so yeah just wanted to uh, just wanted to get on here and kind of share my opinion not everybody can afford high-end makeup and that's why I'm making this video today because I want to share with you guys the awesome products that there are at the drugstore so if you can't afford to run out and drop $40 on a foundation then I got you girl because this video is gonna be very very um, informational I think that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> now, let's just hop into this video because I'm tired of ranting rant is over it's fine it's fine. This video is not gonna be like super long. I just wanted to share with you guys like my absolute essentials from the drugstore and the things that I use almost every day in my makeup routine. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up and yeah, let's just get into the video guys. The very first thing I wanna share with you guys is the Maybelline New York Master Prime by face studio and this is actually to control redness and kind of just blur your face and create the perfect canvas for your foundation which I absolutely 100% think that it does I think it does a wonderful job of canceling out my redness if you're anything like me and your skin gets irritated really easily and just red and kind of breaks out then I think this is the perfect primer for you um, yeah I love it so much it, it it's beautiful. Next I want to share a foundation that I love. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This stuff is full coverage. Like, if you're looking for a super natural, like, minimum coverage foundation, this is definitely not for you. But if you're a full coverage queen, then this is going to be your best friend. Um, I also really, really love this uh, pump that it has. I know it's kind of messy, sorry about that. But yeah, this is like such a beautiful foundation. Whenever I'm going for a really glam look, like today I'm wearing this foundation and I just think it looks really, really beautiful on the skin. It's not too matte, but it's not too dewy. It's just like the perfect, perfect foundation for a glam look. If that's what you're looking for, then you're gonna really, really love this foundation. Okay, so this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this does a beautiful job of brightening my under eyes and concealing my darkness. I will put it like in the center of my face, like on my forehead and down my nose and on my chin just to like brighten those areas. Sometimes concealers tend to crease or like seem really cakey and drying, but this doesn't. I love it so much. It works really, really beautifully. Next, I want to share two powders with you guys. The very first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I actually use this under my eyes to bake, and I love how finely milled it is. Like, it is beautiful. It's like a veil under your eyes, and it, like, works with that concealer really well to just brighten up that area, and yeah, I love it so much. Um, the whole Maybelline Fit Me line is honestly so great and um, I definitely recommend like going out and grabbing some of those products. Every single one that I've picked up has worked really, really beautifully for me. So yes, um, if you're looking for something to bake under your eyes, then I recommend this guy right here. So for all over my face, I actually love to use the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And um, in my opinion, this is like seriously a miracle. I've been searching for a good face powder for quite some time and when I came across this like it's like all my dreams came true. <laughs> I feel like it just blurs all my pores, um, it's not too drying, like I've mentioned before I have super dry skin especially in the fall and winter which we're coming into those months and um, I feel like this is gonna be a really really good product for those times because it's not a drying powder. It feels very lightweight and 
it's just absolutely beautiful. Next we have a bronzer and this is by Physicians Formula. This is the butter bronzer in the lightest shade. And um, I love the packaging first of all. So cute, it has a little mirror underneath here. And I also love how it smells. It smells like vacation, like I don't know how else to explain it. It smells wonderful. The reason I love this so much is because I have such fair skin that it's hard for me to find a bronzer that will warm up my skin without being too dark or looking too orange. This really like is the perfect shade if you have super fair skin like I do. So yeah, if you struggle to find a bronzer that doesn't look good on your skin, definitely pick up this one. I think you'll love it. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. blush palette. I love e.l.f. so much guys, they have such good products. Four different shades, and the ones that I love to use most are this like warm brown one and then this one here in the corner, and I like to mix them to create like a warm apricot color, and that's what I have on my cheeks today. I feel like it's super pigmented, it blends out beautifully, um, yeah, I love this. The only shade that I don't like in this palette is this one here because it has glitter in it but um, I love this coral shade. If it didn't have glitter, I would be using it all the time. If you're struggling to find a good blush for a good price, definitely pick this one up. I promise it works so well. Two highlighting products to share. And the first one is actually a liquid highlighter. So for the longest time, liquid highlighters scared the crap out of me. Like, I wanted nothing to do with them. They just seemed too messy. And yeah, I just, I just didn't really care about them. But one day I decided to pick this one up because I honestly loved the packaging. I thought it was really, really cute. And I ended up falling in love with it. Such a natural looking highlight and it just looks so good with any look that you have. I honestly use this almost every time that I put makeup on. Um, even if I end up putting another powder on top. It's just such a good, natural looking, beautiful highlight. Also something really great about this is that you can put it on top of your powder. I would say that it's an unspoken rule in makeup that you just don't put liquids on top of powders, but with this, it's not going to move your makeup underneath, which I think is so awesome. So it's really convenient, it works beautifully, it's wonderful, and I think there's one other shade. I really wish they would come out with more though because this is a product that I just love. I reach for it all the time. The next one I want to share with you guys is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna swatch it real quick for you guys. Looks like that. And this one is actually in Blossom Glow. It's a holographic pink color, which I love. But I know that they have like a ton of different shades in this. And um, these just work so well for the price. Like you cannot beat Wet n Wild's price. It's so good. I know that these were like all the rage for a while. Everybody was talking about how good these are and um, I agree. I think they're wonderful and if you haven't tried it out then please do. The next thing I want to share with you guys is actually a mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal and this is my all-time favorite mascara. Well, next to my Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I love that one too but Comparing this to all other drugstore mascaras that I've tried, I've tried a lot. <laughs> this one is by far the best. Um, some people say it actually compares really well to the Better Than Sex mascara. Um, the wands look really, really similar, if you can tell. But honestly, I think that I prefer this one over that one. I feel like the Better Than Sex one is a little bit clumpy and... I don't know, kind of just ends up falling all over my face. But this one, which is way cheaper, um, works really, really beautifully. It gives you the fluffiest, most beautiful eyelashes ever. And yeah, if you guys haven't grabbed this, then girl, you're missing out. Go, go get it. <laughs> These are the last products that I want to talk about, and they are my favorite drugstore lip products. These are the NYX Liquid... Wait... These are the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and they dry down matte, which I love. It's not going to take you dipping in three times to get the pigment that you want. These are 
very pigmented and they won't dry out your lips. Also, I've noticed that these do a really good job of staying on all throughout the day. With some liquid lipsticks or cream lipsticks or just with a lot of with a lot of other lip products, I've noticed that they kind of just fade off throughout the day or um, or come off during like a meal or whatever. But these, no. These are gonna stay on your lips until you wipe them off with a makeup wipe, which I love so much. Like, I hate having to reapply my lipstick all the time. So, I love these so much. And the shade range is like outrageous. There's so many different colors. If you guys are looking for a really good lip product but you don't want to break the bank, then go out and grab one of these and you're gonna love it so much. So that concludes my drugstore essentials video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope somebody can take away something from this video. I really enjoy filming and making videos for you guys. Um, I hope you like them. And I will be back with another one very soon. Have a good night or day wherever you are. Bye guys.